Communities across two states are grieving today. A volunteer firefighter died in the line of duty over the weekend in Chester County. He was also beloved in Delaware where he worked. His fellow firefighter and girlfriend is still in the hospital. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Kim Hudson has that story from Exton. They were so new. It was, it, was, it was a breath of fresh air to have them. 25 year old Colin Reedy followed his girlfriend, 24 year old Aaron Grendel, onto the West Whiteland Fire Company in Exton. The two volunteers were with the department less than six months. They were very dedicated. You know, every call was an adventure to them. But Fire Chief Kevin Miller says his heart sank around 9 Friday night when he got a report of a car crash on Walsh Pool Road and Village Avenue in Yukon Township. He found the couple's car crashed into a tree with Reedy dead at the scene and Grindel on her way to the hospital. My heart sank. So did Patrick and Ryan Akins, owners of Done Right Today Plumbing in Wilmington. They said Reedy was as dedicated a plumber as he was a firefighter. Colin was hands down the hardest worker that we've ever met. Um, he would do anything to get the job done. They say losing Reedy has left the office staff in tears. When he did leave us, he was on his way to help someone else, which is just the epitome of who, you know, Colin Reedy was as a person. And then eventually we'd like to come up with a Colin Reedy Award um, that everybody would win once a year, just the overall best, hardest working employee who followed Colin's footsteps and his example. The Aiken say Grindel is also part of the company family. And everyone here at Done Right Today, and I know that I've spoken with, is praying for Emily and her family for speedy recovery. Chief Miller says he is waiting to hear more about firefighter Gindel's recovery. In the meantime, there are already plans to carve firefighter Reedy's name into this memorial. In Exton, Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.